In the last tutorial, we saw how to create a ragdoll wizard. Today, we're gonna learn how to modify the ragdoll using the techniques included in Unity. Then, we're gonna control the ragdoll physics using scripting. Now, if we select the spine, you will notice that our player has a rigid body component, a character joint, and the box collider. Those three components drive the ragdoll physics. Now, let's try to make some modifications. If we select the leg, you will notice that the radius of the capsule collider of the leg is bigger than the mesh. In order to get a better ragdoll physics simulation, you need to refine all the collider's components applied on the character compound object. Sometimes you need to add a character joint to some objects to get the movement that you are looking for because sometimes the wizard won't be able to add all the joints needed to work with. Now we're gonna learn how to program our ragdoll in Unity. First, we're gonna learn how to enable and disable the ragdoll using scripting. But before we do that, we're gonna animate the character, then disable the animation to see a normal behavior of the ragdoll. Before we get started working with our animation in Unity, we need to set up an idle animation. So I imported our model to uh, Mixamo, then I choose our offensive idle animation, then we need to download it and choose FBX for Unity, then download it. Then all we need to do is to import it in Unity. Now before we get started working with Animator in Unity, we need to open the compound elf mesh, then let's select the animation clip and let us, let's edit. We need to choose the loop. So an idle animation will be always played as a loop in Unity. Okay, now let's apply. Then let's go back to Unity and let's create a new animation, animator. So animator controller. Okay, let's call it there. Ani. Now let's open it up and let's select our, uh, our clip, then drag it here on the uh, on the animator window. Okay, now let's select our player and mesh, and let's apply our animator and the controller start okay and before we do that there is some modifications we need to do on the model so don't forget to change the reg animation type to humanoid and set the avatar definition from this model now let's apply okay everything is good now in general all kind and types of idle animation should be in a loop to get the normal behavior of an idle animation. Now, if we hit the play button, you will notice that our player is playing the clip uh, idle animation in a loop. Now, if we go back to our animator window, you will notice that after it gets to the end of the bar, it's go again and again. Now, let's go to our scene and let's, let's try to disactivate the animator and see what happens okay let's test again our animator so if we disactivate our animator uh, our player will be controlled by the ragdoll wizard so if you have any strange or a different uh, behavior of the player when you have uh, when you remove the animator that's all because we didn't refine the colliders and the joints we already spoke about the last time. Now, if we, every time our player dies, another controller by the physics will guide the ragdoll. So it's more realistic than the animator. Now everything is ready to start working with the code. But before we do that, let's select our elf mesh and let's add a rigid body component 
and then let's add a capsule collider okay let's change it okay now let's create new c sharp script collect ragdoll controller okay now select the purpose and apply our code to the purpose okay open it up and visual studio and delay the two function default function to update and the start now we are going to create two private uh, variables the one is an array that con uh, contains all the rigid body on the different part of the player and we're gonna create another array of colliders to contain the same thing of colliders of the pair. So project Okay, now we're gonna create new awake functions that will contain all the initializations. Okay, now we're gonna create a new void that will set all the colliders to enable. So, private, let's call it set colliders enable. So, here we're gonna for each collider and the game object and the player game object we're gonna set up the collider to enable so for each for each the type collider we're gonna call it for example comp um, and the colliders array We're gonna call, we're gonna access to enable it and put it enable. Okay, now let's create a new void. So, in this void, we're gonna access to all the rigid bodies and the array rigid bodies, and we're gonna set the kinematic uh, to true. So, Void as uh, give it uh, name set rigid bodies kinematics set so and uh, here we're gonna give it a new boot and uh, boot will be kinematic okay oh sorry forget to give a uh, a parameter of the type boolean will be enabled uh, as default. Right. That's it as default. Okay. Now we're gonna uh, select all the rigid bodies and the rigid bodies array and set all the kinematic to kinematic. So for edge. 
we do the same and shift bodies for example add b and the shift bodies we're gonna set the add b dot kinematic is kinematic to kinematic okay now let's save and let's go back to unity before we go back to unity there is some modifications we need to do first we're gonna access the variable of the ani uh, animator in unity then the original body and the capsule collider so public the first one will be to animator applied on the player let's call it any then let's access uh, the rigid body component and let's uh, call it the player rigid body player rb so with the capital r r now let's access the capsule collider Okay, let's call it Capsule Collider with a capital C. Okay. Now let's create a new method to activate the ragdoll. So let's create private void. Uh, let's call it activate ragdoll. So, first um, in this method, we're gonna set the capsule collider of our pair to false. Then we're gonna access the rigid body and set it to kinematic, and the animator will be uh, set it to false. Then we're gonna make a call for the set collider is enabled with the true parameter. Then we're gonna set the rigid body's kinematic with the false parameter. Let's get started. So the capsule collider of our prayer enable it equal to false. Then the rigid body will dot is kinematic equal to two. Okay. Now let's access the animator. Enable it and it's going to be false then we're gonna make a call for the both our uh, method the set colliders enabled and the set digit bodies kinematic so we're gonna call it with the true parameter then let's call the other one with the false parameter okay now we set up we finish it with setting all the parameters we need to do to activate our router but before that we need an input system to manage how to to activate it so we're gonna create another void void update and in the void update we're gonna start with a simple input system f um, input that get you down for example and we're gonna work with the a so a refers to activate it so if we hit the a we're gonna make uh, a call for to activate Right okay now let's save then let's go back to unity and make sure that all the links uh, is reference to the game object already set it here so the anim refers to the elf mesh and the pair should body the same to the elf mesh and the capsule collider the same for the elf mesh but before we do that we need to make sure that 
we have already make our ms initialization in the awake function so the set colliders enable it will be set it to false and uh, we're gonna set the rigid bodies is problematic to true sorry now if we go back to unity and make sure that all our game objects already put it here so player rp we're gonna access to the player and we tend to simply just uh, drag the player and it will be automatically knows the type of the game object it refers to now if we hit the play button you will notice that our player is playing an idle animation so if we hit the a button the player will automatically dies now if we just test again our player playing his uh, idle animation and if we hit the a button he will dies again so that's all in this tutorial we have done working with the ragdoll wizard and how to set up ragdoll wizard in unity how to access to the components using scripting and changing so uh, on the next tutorials we gonna work with the physics it's the last tutorial that we gonna work with the physics system in unity we're gonna speak about uh, the wheel colliders and then we're going to move to something else.